Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey Locker Gnome, this is Lamar from the Wilson Tech One channel. I do a video here every Monday and this week I want to talk about illegal stuff. Now I'm not here to be holier than thou, I mean at some point all of us have copied music that we weren't supposed to, we went over the speed limit that we weren't supposed to, we've done other things that we may not be proud of doing, we may not even think that it's bad to do. Stop it. <laughs> so I was reading an article from the consumer's website a few months ago and it asked which illegal activities get a pass from you and I thought wow this would be great for a video. We know people beat the system by using torrenting to download music, TV shows, movies, software and other things that they just want but they can't afford. And some justify it by saying well if it was cheaper then I wouldn't have to do this but I don't know about that reasoning. I don't know as I've gotten older my thinking has become a little bit clearer in this and I've wondered well just because you can't afford it doesn't mean that you need to have it. So if I think some type of software is too expensive, does that mean that I get to get it for free because I think it's too expensive for me? Now, I know a lot of these reasonings are based on your moral upbringing and what you consider stealing and not to be stealing and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. For example, do you consider torrenting things illegal when it comes to media? And some people will say no because it's not a physical thing. But is it stealing? Are you taking something that does not belong to you and that you didn't pay for? So what other things would get a pass from you? What about drinking before your legal age? How about driving a car before you were licensed to do so? And if you do, let me know because I don't want to be there. What about going to the movies, paying for one ticket and then watching two or three movies? Is that stealing? What about taking things from the office or school that you need at home such as toilet paper? Wait, really? People steal toilet paper? Pens, pencils, paper, all the office supplies. Is that stealing? So it's an interesting subject. Many people have different different moral compasses that guide them and direct them through their lives and some are more stricter than others. So personally I don't torrent and take illegal things because I realize that in the long run it's hurting somebody. And to me even if it's a company it's still somebody being hurt there because we're taking something without paying for it. But I don't sit in judgment of those who do unlike some people because we've all done something that we're not proud of so I don't sit here and think that I'm better than you. I am cuter than you though. It's just that I choose not to do certain things because that's just my moral compass and other people have different views of what is legal and what is not illegal. So the question is to you Locker Gnome, what type of illegal activities get a pass from you? So Locker Gnome, I look forward to hearing from you to find out what things you think it's okay to get a pass from and where your moral compass says whoa whoa no I'm not gonna go that far and do that so I'm staying neutral in this I gave you my opinion of what my moral compass is but it doesn't mean that's what you believe so let me know I do a video in this similar format on my Wilson Tech One channel all throughout the week so make sure you subscribe the link is below Locking on thanks for watching and until next Monday I'll vlog you later